hey what's up there this is freddy gandarilla here and in this video i'm going to show you very quickly how to create an html page from scratch all right this is some basic stuff uh to 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 learn how to build uh you know a mini capture page if you want or if you want to build a google hangout page for you for you to share anything uh, this is how you do it from scratch if you are using a Windows computer all right I want to make that clear if you are using a Mac computer uh, this simple free software will not work for you because I don't think they have a software for the Mac right now only for Windows so uh, if you're on the Windows this is the software that we will be using to build a page any page that you want in HTML so it will be simple you don't need to know a lot of HTML uh, you only need to know the basics so I highly recommend you to do a little bit of research and learn a little bit of HTML before doing this uh, you know learn learn the basics of HTML go ahead and go Google anything that you need to know I'm sure there are so many other websites that will teach you exactly what html is and a little bit of the coding that they have and you know the basic codes of html all right um i'm not going to show you and teach you right now in this video what html is i'm just going to show you very quickly how you can create simple pages mini capture pages even google hangout pages in any type of page that you want to create on your own of course you can pay somebody else to do this for you you can pay somebody at fiverr.com or you can outsource you know you can pay somebody else to do this for you but if you decide to do this for yourself uh you know like myself i like to do a lot of stuff myself then this is something very cool i'm going to show you how to do it very quickly and very simple it's a simple method all right so uh but again if you are uh, you are a an advanced html guy this is not for you this is something that you already probably know or knew long time ago uh, this is basic stuff. This is for the people that don't know anything about anything on creating pages for their site. So another important thing that you need to know in order for this to work or this is for the people who have a domain name and for someone that had that knows how to upload files to their to their root domain name, you know, so if you don't know how to do that, make sure do you learn that. So again do a little bit of research and learn that all right i don't want to take a long time making the video and explaining every single thing here i just want to get to the point and show you exactly how to do it with this software so you need to learn how to log into your cpanel if you are using hostgator.com for example um, which is the one I'm going to use for an example in this video if you're using, using hostgator then you need to learn how to uh, upload files to your root domain name all right i might explain to you a little bit from hostgator.com but if you have another hosting service then maybe you want to um, learn more how to upload files there all right again this video is only is only for the newbies all right i want to help the newbie newbies with this so once you you know you know how to upload files and then you know how to you know create subdomain names and subfolders uh you need to decide where are you going to upload the files to all right where are you going to upload the pages so make sure you have everything ready to go you know where to upload the files you you got the domain name or you got the subfolder or you got the subdomain name ready for you to use all right for for you to upload whatever you are going to create today in here to there all right i hope i hope i make sense here so go ahead there should be a link around the video here and download the composer uh, uh software to your computer remember you are not going to you're not you're not going to need to install anything so basically you save the file right uh, i already have it and then you go to whatever you have it and then you extract all right right click extract here and once you do that you will have a, a brand new uh, folder 
and then that folder will be composer and then you will be you, you all you have to do is open it and you can see the execution file right there and all you got to do is open it all right and then that said you don't need any installation or, or anything at all the software is ready to use all right if you want to have a shortcut to that file to that software you can simply right click and create a shortcut and then take that shortcut somewhere on your desktop or on your navigate navigation bar or whatever you want to put it so that's all you gotta do to get started with the software all right now the software is very simple to use and as you can see i was playing around in here uh you know doing a mini capture page a uh, simple google hangout you know page and let me show you how to do it from scratch all right so here it is you know and let's say you want to create a capture form a, a very simple capture form to promote your ebook on blogging tips or something like that all right so simple but power away cancel all right simple simple but powerful powerful blogging tips to, to help you track more visitors daily all right something like that get a free report get a free free report today enter your email to gain access all right something like this all right very simple stuff and then what you can do from there is just play around with it and get creative uh, you know and just build a nice mini capture page right you do something like this make it bold make it red you know you can underline the important things that you want to you know stand out and visitors attract more something like that and then get a free report today boom and then you put your your capture form here and there you have it very simple you know capture form and now all you gotta do is go to your email email marketing software autoresponder and get a capture form code and then go back to the source and put the code right here all right so i actually recommend you to do the same here and and type where you want your capture form form to be type it out and then go back to the source it, it will be easier for you to find that and then paste the new code in there all right so as you can see that's very simple thing to do right a very simple thing to do now let me save this the next thing you want to do is save as and then give this a name all right so if you are using a domain name or subdomain and you want this to to come up in the root domain right then you have to name it index all right index and that's the name that you have to that this has to have but if you want to you want this page to be on its own and and give it a name you know you're going to it's going to be like this your domain name dot com slash um whatever you want to name it a mini capture page for example if you want that 
then give it a different name all right but since you i'm going to show you how to just upload it to your root dom domain name so i'm going to name it index all right so okay and then save you want to make sure you're saving it in that html file and there you go it's right here let me open that and as you can see there you go it's a very simple um capture form right there and the same thing you can do for a uh, google hangout all right i uh, have a an example here right over here i was doing the same thing tonight top leaders will reveal secret you know that this is like a, a, a very simple google hangout page all right very simple with the white background you don't need a fancy you know page all right especially when you're getting started online so this is very simple to do all right as you can see right here very simple and then boom right here you put your capture form in there and there you go you got a, a, a very simple capture form to use all right and once you are ready with this what you want to do is go to your go to your cpanel and host gator and then find the files section and click on file manager and then go just open that and then find the domain name or subdomain name that you want to use in this case i'm going to use one subdomain that i'm not using right now so all you want to do is upload it there right and anytime you want to edit some something open the file and edit anything that you want you know just edit anything save it again and then re-upload it to the same domain name or subdomain so i'm going to right now this subdomain is going to this let me see where is it all right let me go to that subdomain to show you what what is on the page right now the all right there we go so this is what was on, what's on the page right now and i'm going to upload a different one the one we just created all right index and then i want to replace it yep overwrite it there we go and then let me refresh this and there you go that's the capture perform uh capture page mini capture page that i just created in front of you in just a couple of minutes couple of seconds all right all i need in here is just my capture form and that should be good to go um so you also want to make sure that you you really work on your copywriting skills and you you know you put something very catchy here you put something that is going to make people want to know more all right so anyways that that is very simple to do right so that is that that's it guys that is the the simplest way to build an html site from scratch now if you when you're building a google hangout page you you know you want to get comments below one site i really recommend you to use is live fire um when you're building a google hangout page you know you can get a comment system from here and you can get the code from here when you sign up for a free account get the code and then place it below your video right go to the source and paste the code in there and then you're good to go you have your video there and then you have comments below so all you gotta do is just follow simple things uh, over here on the page and get your code for the comments all right that's one thing i wanted to let you know another thing that i need you to know when you are building these pages is that you need to have this code the meta descriptions and the meta titles and this is that code that is very very important for you to have and i'm going to share that code with you below the video so make sure you have this uh between the head the the head um the the, the head codes over here as you can see uh you want to have the meta description the meta titles and stuff like that you know the title is basically what is going to show up on your page on, on the top right here when you go to the page 
you know over here as you can see it says index right you can change that index over here by having a title a meta title all right so i'm going to share that code with you that you need to have in there all right on the header of the page and pretty much that's all you need to know that's all you need right now to build a simple page uh you need the code and that's it and one more thing i wanted to share with you is i'm going to share this template one of the this is one of the you know cap like cap uh capture pages or templates that i use for my capture forms and my capture pages i mean and you know for whatever page i want this is a simple uh you know two two backgrounds page you know there's a box in here where you can type whatever you want you can even you know create a google hangout with this you know it's just something for you to play with i'm going to leave a link to download this file and you can play around with this and i'm going to show you really quickly how you can change the background the black background that you see right here you can change it right here you can just type in whatever uh color you want you know red and it goes to red and you know so you can change the background there if you want to change the change the background of the box right here then you can do it right here as you can see it says white right now so you can change it to anything you want to change the the width and the height of the box you can do it right here and that is it all right that's all you need to know that you could change right now very simple stuff don't over complicate things you know just keep it simple build your stuff and you know just start marketing and start building your 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 business online all right so that's all i wanted to share with you i hope this is helpful to you especially to somebody brand new to the internet somebody very new that doesn't know any anything about pages and html i really recommend you to spend some time to learn about html to learn about hosting to learn about how to you know upload files to your hosting i mean to your domain name to your subdomains what is a subdomain how you can create a subdomain a subfolder so you need to spend some time learning all of this and then you know just start building your your business on the internet all right so that's all I wanted to share with you guys, and I hope this is helpful to you. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel, follow me on the social networks, and share this on the internet if you find it very helpful, all right? So I wish you the best success. I'll talk to you later.